you can see this guy, right? All right. Um, so this is, I guess, a graduation ceremony at the University of Minnesota. I, I've, I think I've authenticated this. I think this is legit. Um, I've, I've found it in a number of different sources around the web. Um, this guy does, you know, he's wearing the uniform. It's hard to believe that this is real, but it looks like it is. I'm going to play it. It's, um, you know, I don't know how well you're going to hear. I hope you hear well. Let me know in the chat how the sound is and, and whether you're hearing this. I'm going to point the microphone towards the computer speakers where it's going to be broadcast out of. Um, and um, I don't know. I might stop it in the middle. I might let it play through. I probably stop it in the middle because it's so horrific. Um, this is a graduation ceremony. This is like the Hippocratic oath that all the graduating medical students say at the end of it. I don't know if this was required or wasn't required, um, but here it is. So let's let's play this thing. Uh, those of you watching on video, there are subtitles, so you can follow along there if you can't hear this well. But hopefully, hopefully you can hear it as well. Let me know how the sound comes online. Oops, clicking the wrong place. Here we go. With gratitude, we, the students of the University of Minnesota Twin Cities Medical School Class of 2026, stand here today among our friends, families, peers, mentors, and communities. So I guess at least these are not, at least these are not students who are graduating. This is the class of 2026. I don't know what the context exactly of all of this is. And if you look at the audience in the background, it looks like a bunch of uh, minorities that are there. I'm not sure exactly what the context of that is. So I don't know exactly the context of this event, but listen to the words um, because this is um, this is so indicative of the dominance of woke culture in our leading institutions and many of our governing institutions, and including our medical schools, which is maybe one of the most scariest places that this exists. Listen to what they actually say. Who have supported us in reaching this milestone. Our institution is located on Dakota land. So we've talked about this. You have to, you have to declare your sin for, uh, actually, um, for actually having an institution on Dakota land, whatever the hell that means. Um, it, it was Dakota land. I don't think it is Dakota land anymore. Uh, it is uh, it is the land of the business school. They actually did something with the land. They built something on it. The Dakotas were probably treated pretty badly by the U.S. authorities in the 19th century, but that was a long, long time ago. Get over it, and uh, and you know instead of bemoaning that past, let's celebrate the amazing stuff that was done with the Dakota land by building this uh, the Minneapolis, St. Paul, these cities civilization today many indigenous people throughout the state including dakota and Ojibwe, call the twin cities home we also recognize this acknowledgement is not enough it's not enough to acknowledge it this is reparations this is i don't know what it is this is let's grovel let's whip ourselves let's it's whatever whatever it is let's um um God, this is this is uh, this is insanity, woke CRT insanity. We commit to uprooting the legacy and perpetuation of structural violence deeply embedded within the healthcare system. Structural violence embedded in the healthcare system. Structural violence. What is structural violence? Violence is me slapping you. What is structural violence? Where there's a machine that every time you enter a room slaps you. What does that even mean? Do these words mean anything to anybody? Is there discrimination going on in the Minnesota healthcare system? If there is, and I'm not saying there isn't, if there is, then let's deal with the discrimination. Structural violence deeply embedded within the healthcare system? Really? This is just, I am sinful. This is uh, Augustine whipping himself for the sin of, you know, being alive, existing, being human. And, and here it's a sin of being successful. We recognize inequities built by past and present traumas rooted in white supremacy, colonialism, the gender binary. Gender binary. 
Yeah, I mean, there's one, uh, you know, uh, uh, this civilized modern world with modern medicine, uh, uh, medical schools, uh, iPhones, satellites. This is all built on the oppressive gender binary. And of course, the next one is even better, ableism. We discriminate in favor of the able. Now, this is unbelievable, right? Because these are some of the most able people in the country. I hope. Don't you hope? I mean, I hope that the medical school at the University of Minnesota doesn't accept students who are not able. It doesn't accept idiots, unintelligible, unintelligent people can't cope, who don't know. If ableism is a problem in a sense of caring about ability, if it's a problem, then what's the solution for medical schools? Egalitarianism, accept everybody. In. Don't have standards. This is really, really scary stuff. And look at them, dozens of them. They're just standing there. Now, I don't know who this audience is. It's, the whole thing is a little weird. So I don't know what the nature of the ceremony is exactly. If somebody wants to research this and find out, that'd be great. Uh, but God, this is scary, scary, scary stuff. Ableism and all forms of oppression. As so uh, gender binary is a form of oppression. Me not recognizing that the 96 genders is a form of oppression. We enter this profession with opportunity for growth. We commit to promoting a culture of anti-racism. Culture of anti-racism. Now, if this was just regular language, if this was English, uh, who's against a culture of anti-racism? We're all for a culture where there's no racism. But that's not what anti-racism means. Anti-racism is, I did a whole show on anti-racism in 2020. Anti-racism means anti uh, white racism, it means whites, if you have white skin, if you happen to have white skin, if you were born with white skin, then um, you must uh, be contrite, you must, uh, you, you, you know, you're sinful, you're inherently sinful, there's nothing really you can do to overcome the sin, uh, you, you, are, you are bad in and of itself. Nikoka says this must be a joke. I hope so. If somebody could show me this video as a joke, that would be, make my day. Make my day. Yeah, Scott can only think in terms of uh, Democrats and Republicans, so it made him stop voting Democrat. All right. I, I, I've already talked about binary thinkers. All right, uh, let's keep listening. Listening and amplifying voices for positive change. We pledge to honor all indigenous ways of healing. This is, this is a cool one, right? They pledge to honor all indigenous ways of healing. This is at a modern medical school. Now, there are lots of problems with modern medicine. But there are even bigger problems with indigenous ways of healing. God, I don't want, I don't want these doctors anywhere near me. I don't, there's one state I'm not moving to. If, if, this is, if this is really part of it, this is one state I'm not moving to. Yeah, this is a prayer. Thank you, Bree. Absolutely a prayer. This is religious ceremony. It's a prayer. It's, I have sinned. Forgive me, God. And uh, I, I, I promise not to sin. I promise to be contrite and I probably to respect everybody who's more ignorant than me. As a doctor, I will respect even ignorant, barbaric, primitive, mystical, unproven remedies as equal to mine. This is multiculturalism to the nth degree. This is the end of egalitarianism. This is what egalitarianism is all about. That have been historically marginalized by Western medicine. Maybe because most of them are not very scientific. Some is good. Some is not scientific. So we don't listen to witch doctors anymore. We've marginalized them. Isn't that terrible? But this is this is exactly that moral equivalence. Everybody's the same. There's no difference. Everybody's morally equivalent. Knowing that Not just morally equivalent. Everybody's equivalent in everything, in knowledge and goodness and everything. Chop down the good. Eliminate modern medicine for the sake of 
don't make the barbarians feel by, that they're looked down upon. Health is intimately connected to our environment. Okay. We can and we got to put in Mother, Ga uh, you know, Mother Earth, and health is intimately connected to the environment, and therefore these doctors are going to commit to healing the Earth. Commit to healing our planet and communities. The, the sociologists, they're going to heal the communities, they're going to heal Earth, they're going to heal everybody. That's their job. They're doctors, after all. Again, keep me away from Minnesota. We vow to embrace our role as community members and strive to embody cultural humility. Cultural humility. What's they got to do? They're doctors. Have you ever seen the show House? The show House was fabulous, particularly the first two seasons. There's a right treatment and there's a wrong treatment. There's facts. There's nonsense. We focus on facts. I, I would like to do this speech over and talk about facts, evidence, science, reality, achievement, progress. And yes, modern medicine has its problems. But the way to fix them is more science, more evidence, more reality focus. We promise to continue restoring trust in the medical system and fulfilling our responsibility. How are you going to restore trust in the medical system when you're basically announcing that uh, the modern medical system is the equivalent of voodoo medicine? Abilities as educators and advocates. We commit to collaborating with social, political, and additional systems to advance health equity. Health equity. We will learn from the scientific innovations made before us and pledge to advance and share this knowledge with peers and neighbors. We recognize the importance of being in community with and advocating for those we serve. <sighs> okay. That's it. Uh, I don't know that I have to comment much on that. I mean, this is this is why so many people um, make a big deal about woke and 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 uh, and uh, critical race theory and uh, white fragility and all the all the nonsense, the subjective, postmodern nonsense that goes with it. Um, this is um, this is uh, you know this is why. This is why our culture is going to hell. This and, and the response from the right is why the culture is going to hell. We get this on the one side. And the response to this is, no, no, no. We don't want those mystics. We want, to, we want our mystics. We want, we want to embrace Christianity. We want to embrace the nation. And there's nobody who is talking about reason, science. Nobody talking about capitalism and liberty and freedom as the solution to, to woke culture. Uh, there's nobody, in a sense, representing the, 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 the founding fathers in our political debate today. There's this woke insanity, uh, complete subjectivism, uh, complete egalitarianism. And on the flip side, there's, there's right-wing subjectivism um, and, and a complete negation of, of individual rights, which both sides agree on. It's just which one. So um, there you go. Your medical schools. This is why Democrats are going to lose. Because Americans see this and they flip out. They flip out. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.